part of the ultimate warrior in the forces of Hulkamania that I have seen in great strides before <laughs> come together at SummerSlam. The tanks that we ride in are made of the armor of Hulkamaniacs and warriors of great strengths. After we destroy you with an improper burial, <laughs> what, what you, you gonna, gonna do when Hulkamania and the Ultimate Warrior ride all? the Mark West Sports Podcast. So, on to the next thing, though. Um, so, yeah, that's my score, 27-24. Okay. I, th- I think uh, I think the Canes pull out the victory at Hard Rock Stadium. So, we'll move on to the next thing. I mean, let's talk to him, man. The arm of the <laughs> almighty tour, yes. It's, it's two a time, baby. It's two a time. Um, yeah, man. I want, I want to rewind all the way to the to the game before because, you know, we didn't really talk about it. But first, I want to say, damn, to a like get on the ground. That after that game, I was like, bro, get on the ground, bro. And he wanted to be tough to a man, and try to fight for a first down against. Not even, not even against a, a a DB, like against a linebacker. You you really trying to like end your life? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I I admire the toughness, you know. I admire that, but like, come on, man, you the franchise quarterback, and we need you not only for this game, not only for this season, but we need you for years to come. You know, we don't want you getting knocked out consistently during the season and. Yes. Other parts of your body is fragile too. So let's let's just try to get on the ground. And then the next game, like I was like, okay, buddy has learned because a couple of times he did run and then he got on the ground. Yes. You know, the, the, the slides didn't look, they looked a little, you know, kind of Suspect. awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at least he got on the ground. So yes. I, I just want to say that before you, you know, start talking about your boy. To a top of I, I thought it was our boy, you feel me? Because I thought you seen the light already, but okay, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go back like to being my boy. I know he's 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 originally your boy. Okay, so. okay, okay, okay. Like I've been saying for the longest, and I'll go back, you know, that previous game first before I chime in. I felt the same way when you know he kept, you know, not sliding. You know, we going crazy on the damn text machine, you know, me, you, and Chris, like, what the hell. But it didn't matter. You know why? Because what me and um, I think all three of us were saying, like, um, maybe he's doing that, you know, to get that the jitters out. You know what I'm saying? Um, you've been out for a while, three weeks. Um, you know, of course, you know, everybody remember, you know, how your fingers were, how you was wobbly, all the different things that came behind it. You know, you seen how they actually, um, um, you know, did us green or to have another agenda behind us because you kind of showed the world that football is a serious game um and the nfl do care about themselves and not about the players because the actual doctor who actually cleared him was hired by the actual nfl and not the miami dolphins so um and the the, the um, um the actual um doctor for the dolphins said that he wasn't able to play so it clearly showed that the nfl worry about themselves um yeah even you know the crazy thing is you know after that game after he came back you know i seen people not hitting him the way that they were hitting him before because i'm like you know when he was getting hit you know there was one hit matter of fact chubb you feel me chubb you remember when 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 we thought that he was gonna have an acl tear when he had got tackled you know i posted it on our page you feel i'm saying we was like damn you like damn how come he always wind up getting hit awkward When yeah, you know, like from that to the to the body slam, I don't normally see those type of um plays no more in the NFL. I see those plays um like early nineties, nineties, early two thousands. Um, I don't really see quarterbacks getting hit the way Tua was. And after he came back, I seen yeah, they was trying to hit him, but they was not trying to hurt him. It's like the games before they was trying to hurt him, you know, because a lot of times, you know, um, people don't like 
individuals that's always in the media. I mean, if Tua wasn't here, they wouldn't be talking about the Dolphins. You know what I'm saying? Like certain players, like a lot of people don't like that. You know, they're like, oh, why are you so special? I, you know, I'll put everything on the line just like this guy. And one of your quarterback, everybody hate quarterbacks because they get paid the most, even though it's a team game. Then you have all these rules um, that protect the quarterback. Uh, and then you're you're one of these um, golden boys. You feel me? Because he is one of the golden boys. You know, he you know, he have the crosses under his eyes, you know, so we know he's a spiritual guy. He's not probably like Tim Tebow, how he exert that to the public. But, you know, just having that on the field on, under his eyes every game since Alabama, this is not a trend. This is not something new. Um, it shows he's spiritual. He, you know, he's married. He's a married man now. Um, he's close knit, kind of like us. Like we came to keep to ourselves. We don't post everything about our lives. We post things here and there. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's that that person that a lot of people don't like. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people was looking at Russell Wilson um, the same way right now. Is it fake? You feel me? Is it this? Is it that? You feel what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't think two is fake. It really seems genuine with him. But since that injury and he came back, I seen like um, the players kind of gravitate towards him not our players because of course that's their quarterback but the other teams they they're not they're not looking like they want to damage him or end his career right now you feel me because a lot of people are saying Tua, you should just give it up this that and the other um but um he persevered he on you know and and he looks great now going back to the last week's game matter of fact sunday the yeah. arm of the almighty Sua prevail like i told you you know what i'm saying and like i told everybody if any man my dog had three touchdowns he could have had four you know what i mean because if they would have challenged that 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 touchdown um well the one that was called back if they would challenge that that's four touchdowns my dog got the highest um i think quarterback rating right now in the league what's going on my the arm of the almighty tool prevails again it's just been showing you and um um Showing everybody that he is consistent. You can't be the most accurate quarterback in NCAA or for Marcus, the most efficient quarterback in NCAA history and not and come to the NFL and do the same damn thing. Huh? That's what it that's what it is. What you mean? It don't Marcus? matter. No. So you heard you heard what Tyreek Hill said. Most accurate. You feel me? I'm going on what he's saying. I'm going on what my dog Cheetah is saying. I'm showing I'm going on what I've been seeing. Um, in the NFL. This is one of the reasons why I compared him to Tom Brady and you was looking at me crazy. No. Yes. People been saying Tom Brady don't have a strong arm. You're going to get that with time. He's a rookie. You feel me? After them workout regiments and certain things like that, he's going to get better. And you, everybody got to gotta um, pump the brakes on tour because at the end of the day, you got to understand when your ass is injured, damn near two years with a hip injury. Well, you think you can work out like that? You can't work out like that. So other parts of your body's gonna get weaker. He's been in the league. This is his third year, supposedly, right now. Or is it his fourth year? It's his third. It's third. Yeah, yeah, his third year right now. So you got all right, third or fourth, regardless of the fact. Um, you know, COVID kind of effed everything up. So everybody's kind of off with the years and stuff like that. But yeah, now you seeing this is the tool that we thought we was gonna have when he came out of Alabama before the injury. He's healthier now. He's um, he's a little bulkier now, even though he's still small. I mean, I mean, you can't change a, a guy's, um, you know, uh, physicality or a physical appearance too much. You know what I'm saying? But again, if you look at Cheetah, Cheetah's a, a, a short guy, but he's bulky. Same thing. You look at Tua, Tua's getting there. But again, you're going to get there after you're 100%. Right now, we clearly know that the hip injury is 100%. That's what we wanted to make sure that was good. And that is good. If that's good, don't have nothing to worry about. Nigga, guys is not throwing 50-yard bombs all the time. Guys are throwing 15, 20. Not just that, but get the first down. Do what Tom Brady's been doing that lasted him his whole career. Get the ball out quick. You feel me? Uh, um, be as accurate as you can, which Tom Brady has. It won him seven Super Bowls. So if you could be that person, I don't mind because when you compare him to like the uh, um, the Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, yeah, you got an arm, yeah, you you you're 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 elite quarterback, but you'd be doing some good shit where people be like, damn, really, you doing that? Really, you doing that? You know what I'm saying? Again, a lot of times you make it look good. But if you talk about the traditional 
head coach, they're like, why are you doing that? Why are you throwing off your back foot? Why are you throwing like this? Eventually, it's going to come and burn you. You know what I'm saying? Same thing like – You're talking about Patrick Mahomes? Yes, yes, the, yes. The, he was the, going, the quarterback that won a Super Bowl already? Yeah, he won a Super Bowl. It don't matter. A lot of people won yeah, one Super Bowl. I think it do Bowl. matter, though. <laughs> no, a lot of people won one Super Bowl. My whole thing is – what I'm saying is everybody knows you should not throw on your back leg. You feel me? You 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 gotta be you gotta be grounded when you're a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Certain people could do it, the Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jacksons, you know what I'm saying? But eventually, what everybody's been saying gonna catch up to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Tua doesn't have Tua is being a traditional quarterback. There's a lot of plays, like I said, he could have ran and he did it. He he pretended like he's gonna run and then he threw it to to you know somebody that's gonna make a bigger play out of nothing. So again. When you get to the playoffs, when you get to these cold games, because, I mean, it's about to be November, December, you know it get cold, and you're going to be playing these up north teams, somebody that's throwing the bombs 50, 60 yards, you're going to have to worry about the win. Two don't need to worry about that. Dump it 15. Right. Dump it 20. All right. All right. I, I'll, I'll let you be on your soapbox about Tua, you know, yeah. and, mm-hmm. and and I think that's enough Tua. I mean, we can still talk. We can still praise the, the oh, almighty nice. Tua, like, like you say. But I'm going to big up some other players on this team. Our dog, Tyree Kill, bro. Like, my team, king of the Tyree Kill, is on top (laughs) top of the fantasy football league. And it's because of him, bro. I'm the the king of the uh, the fantasy football league with king of the Tyree Kill. Everybody looking at me like, damn, I should have – I got this fool. You're going to win. I know, I know, I'm gonna win, bro. Because the these dudes is man, they went and got too many quarterbacks. I stocked up on running backs, and I got Tyreek Hill, man. It's a wrap. But <laughs> this, this guy Tyreek Hill, bro, he's 14 catches last week. I think the week before, 12. I mean, he's just a dog, man. Like he's a dog. Like he's he plays how I wish I played. <laughs> <laughs> like I wish I, that was me out there running around getting catches. You know, talking smack. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I I wish I was I wish like he's I, he's living vicariously, you know, through through all of us who 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 wish he could be that. And then Jalen Waddle, bro, like the Waddle is like a real thing. <laughs> the Waddle is a real thing, bro, because he he's out there making over the shoulder catches. He's the perfect complement to Tyreek Hill because you got two burners on the outside, and then you got Baby Gronk. Uh, Gronk Secchi, as, as they be calling him now, who is is that other perfect option to this offense? Where if you if if you if you double uh, Tyreek Hill or if you focus on, because I've seen a couple of times that they tried to double Tyreek Hill. I've seen a couple of times they tried to double Waddle, and then Gronk Secchi is is there just like, hey, if you forget about me, I'm gonna score a touchdown, and he's been scoring touchdowns pretty much every week and then i like what i've seen from raheem moster you know raheem moster used to be like faster than he was he's still good but like i still i still think he's not like a hundred a hundred percent from that injury that he had a couple years ago but even with that he's been pretty consistent and now let's talk about the trade that the dolphins made they went away. They went in and and traded away uh, Chris Edmonds, who I think was a great trade because I don't think he was adding any value to the team, especially when Coach McDaniel's called them out for the fourth down that they went for. He called him out and said that he he ran the wrong way. So when a coach calls you out and say that you ran the wrong way on a fourth down play, then yeah that that's an issue and that's a problem and that was a game that we almost lost to kenny pickett if it wasn't for our boy egg banagabi getting the interception late in the game um so and then who do we get we get chubb experience and it's gonna get me back to that same guy that was hungry to get college offers that same guy that was hungry to go out there and prove everybody you know what i'm saying wrong
We get a Pro Bowl defender to add to this team. A Pro Bowl defender. This is crazy because because what what does that tell you and I, Wes? Is that this franchise, Chris Greer, who we've been bashing, and maybe we should start giving him a little props. You know, uh, as of late, because that Laramie Tunsil trade, which is like, I don't understand, like, why Texans did that, because who do we end up getting from that Laramie, Laramie Tunsil trade? Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and now Chubb. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. From Laramie Tunsil, an offensive lineman that you ain't never going to, ain't, ain't going to move the needle nowhere. It's just unbelievable. So I think I'm I'm gonna be cashing in on the bet that I made in Vegas on the Dolphins when um getting to the playoffs. Remember, I made that made that bet. So I'm gonna be cashing in on that and hopefully cashing in, 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 in on the fantasy football league too because of the dolphins, man. Like, you know, man, Trick Daddy said I got I got debt because I'm betting with the dolphins. Mm-hmm. It seems like that's just gonna change with me this year. And mm-hmm. the dolphins, I want to end with. Are a legit Super Bowl contender, right. and I I know people are gonna say like nah nah man you got you got a Miami hat on and your boy got a jersey and three hundred five in the background is, but they are a legitimate Super Bowl contender, and it's because let me tell you why, and it's easy to say see why first of all because Buffalo, the team that everybody oh, says is going to the Super Bowl. We already beat. We hmm. already have a win against them, which yep. means we have a chance to play them again. Obviously, we play them twice a year, like every divisional team. If we win that game, we have the tiebreaker against the Bills. We only got three losses, hmm. you know? Hmm. So, and even if they don't win the division, say if Buffalo ends up winning the division, they guarantee to, to, to make a playoffs, and I think they host a playoff game, which means – they have a chance to make it to the Super Bowl because once you get to the playoffs, I think anything can happen. And then you add the defense has already been the defense has been up and down, but they have had some injuries. You know, they have had a lot of injuries. Howard hasn't been 100 percent a lot. Byron Jones hasn't been 100 percent a lot. I mean, even the offensive line has been suffering a lot of injuries. And now they have a chance to really build on the on the record that they have they got five wins right now uh they got cleveland coming up here which is a beatable team uh the defense is pretty tough but our defense is 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 tough as well so the and the other thing about this team is that they can win a bunch of ways like last week they got down big they were down big and you were like oh nah this can't be another one of these games but to quote my dog Wes, we have the almighty Tua who can lead a team to victory. And that's that was really the thing about me for Tua. It's like, can Tua lead us to a victory? And he's already done it basically three times this season. Now, he didn't do it against Pittsburgh. Let, let's be honest. The defense won that game. Um, but this last game, Tua won that game. Against Baltimore, Tua won that game. And against Buffalo, I think it's probably it's probably a combination of both with that game, the defense and Tua. But you got to give props to Tua in that game as well. Definitely so, so I have I have the utmost confidence that even if we down, we get down by a bunch of scores, that this offense can bring us back to win the game, and that's why they're a Super Bowl contender. Come on, man. They're a Super Bowl contender because of the almighty tool, because of the brain of McDaniel. The old line is looking great. Like I've been saying, you give two a time, and he's going to be dropping dimes. He's going to be dropping <laughs> bombs. And he's been doing that all um, off season. you know. People were saying, yeah, it's off season. Now he's doing it in the game. Now they're like, oh, nah, um, it's uh, his durability. Look, man. 
it's a concussion. Concussions happen in the NFL. Um, you just got to live and you got to learn, man. You know what I'm saying? He lived, he learned that first game back. He was looking kind of shaky. Um, but again, he's been off three weeks. He come back again next week. Offense is just looking crazy. It's like he's just putting butter on bread. You know what I'm saying? He just first touchdown to Waddle. Quick snap to him. Surveying the scene to the end zone. Touchdown. And it's second touchdown to Waddle. Six. Tua looking deep. He's got a man. Touchdown. Number two for Waddle. And here comes the Waddle. Even Christian Wilkins getting down there to help out. Oh, cheetah in the middle. Down and ten. Tua was looking deep. Steps up. Now he's going to fire it down the field for Tyree Kill. Underthrown again, but Hill makes the catch. You thinking that, damn, it's overthrown? Hell nah. I'm the human pogo stick. I'm going to go ahead and jump about eight, nine feet in the air and grab that. You know, when you got defenders all over the place. And then you got Gasicki doing his thing, like you said. To, to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Gasicki. What a drive by Miami. Their third red zone touchdown of the day and for Gesicki it's his fourth of the season he ain't doing a greedy no more because <laughs> suppose <laughs> you get down pat you know what I'm saying but regardless of the fact you know people got to go ahead and start paying attention to the Miami Dolphins man because it, it's, it looks like we it looked like we actually found our franchise quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Um, I that's, mean, that's my line, bro. <laughs> it looks uh, like, <laughs> like you just found out. <laughs> like, no, that's I, just me, I, I say. <laughs> I been thought we had our franchise quarterback. You know what I'm saying? But you jumped the gun. You jumped off the ship. You feel what I'm saying? Because, again, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. You was just like me. You was like, give my dog some time to heal and be 100%. But you just wind up, you know, jumping off the ship. But again, yeah, it's all yeah. good. If it's all good, cause we on the same team. You know what I'm saying? We 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 got yeah. the same goal. I just, you know I mean? just wanted him to make a believer out of me, and he did that. He he did that. There this you is go. the third game that he did that for me. And I exactly. was a believer. I was a believer by by the Buffalo game, which was the first time. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I was just like, wow, we beat in Buffalo, the team that everybody says is going to the Super Bowl. And then we were mm -hmm. down, um, down to Baltimore and came back. Like that was a crazy comeback. And then again against Detroit, you know, um, road games, every game is tough in the NFL. I mean, yeah. yeah, you know, Detroit, they only have one win, but they've been playing teams tough. So just to see them, and they were coming off a bye. I believe yes. so. They had they had a, a, a some so, some time to rest. So that's why I think they came out the way they did. But Miami found a way. They found a way to you know find the holes in their defense and and to a engineer to come back. See Marcus, man, you gotta understand, man. Everybody need to understand. Like these games, the Dolphins normally lose. The Dolphins normally lose yeah. the close games. The Dolphins, yeah. you 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 get down fourteen to zero. The game is over. It's just yeah. like all right, wifey, y'all want to you? I know we was I was supposed to be watching the game, but um, yeah. you remember let's, say you want to go to brunch or something? Let's, get, <laughs> let's go to your mom's house. Let's do brunch. Let's go to the beach. Let's do something. Now we got to watch the whole game. We can't we can't um get discouraged if we see that we're down and out in the beginning because the Dolphins are not out with the arm of the Almighty Tua. My dog's going to go ahead and do his thing. We got a, a coach that's going to go ahead and, and and figure it out. Like, man, this dude is Ivy League, man. You feel what I'm saying? He's he's <laughs> one of those that, that, like, you remember when I used to say, like, how come when we see teams like New Orleans, all these other teams, it's just people wide open? And you like, how? I've never seen that with the Dolphins. Now you're starting to see it. It's those minds, the football minds, them great football minds. Because you can play football. But to actually, um, you know, um, you know, create a, a office's plan or office's scheme that's going to have people that have been dedicating their whole life to this game just off, like uh, you're five yards off me, you're 10 yards away, I'm nowhere around. Yo, this is the, the actual coach that we have, and we got the right quarterback to do what we need to do. We got the quarterback that can play. 
um, in cold weather, and I'm saying it now, we got the quarterback that can play in cold weather. Why is yeah, that? Why, why? Yeah, why is that? Why? Because in cold weather, you're not going to be dropping bombs. Cold weather, you're playing like what people say Tua has been his whole career, a 10-yard, 5-yard guy. Just get the first down. That's cold weather football. Am I lying or am I lying? You okay. feel me? I'm okay. telling you. I just wanted you know to know what, what the reason was. Though. Yes, okay. yes. And not just that, but Tua been practicing in the snow. In the offseason when it was cold, he was somewhere practicing in the cold. You know what I'm saying? I don't know exactly where it was, but I know that I heard that story. And I'm going to believe my dog Tua is, like he said, my dog said that. Yeah, I do keep receipts. That's Tua. I take receipts. I do get receipts, you know what I'm saying? And I use them at my own leisure. So people like Marcus, he got receipts for you. <laughs> he got receipts for everybody else that was hating. People like Wester Domus, moi, myself, he gonna be like, man, that's why this dude on the Mark West Sports Podcast be saying he my dog, because he had my back. You feel me? Like, I was like, T.O., that's my quarterback. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not crying, but that's my quarterback. <laughs> I've been it saying fake that. tears anyway. <laughs> <laughs> fake ass tears. It, it, it don't matter. That's his quarterback. His quarterback was Romo, and mine is the arm of the Yo, ball. It, it's so funny. I just pulled up my my ESPN um app, and the first thing that pop up is Dan Orlovsky, who who I don't really like, but he the first thing that that it says Dolphins can win Super Bowl with Bradley Chubb. That's the first thing that comes up. Oh. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? You got Jalen Phillips on one side. He always be somewhere near the quarterback. And now you can't double his ass because you got Chubb. Oh, he already a pro bowler. Right. He coming on the other side. We got Melvin Gordon. Oh, Melvin my. Gordon's been balling this season. Exactly. We haven't even talked about Van Ginkle like that. Ogba. Yeah. You know, we got a few injuries, like you said earlier. You know, the old line been injured. You know, and we still doing our thing. Look at the right guard, um, the right tackle now, Shell. Like we don't need to worry about that blonde side. You know, the left tackle and the right tackle, everything is Gucci right now. Right now, you know, Eichenberg is out. I think they put him on injury reserve. I was gonna but say Austin that. Jackson is back. Is back. Yeah, Austin yeah, I just Jackson see that. Is back. It was just an ankle, and you know, you could plug him into um the right guard on position because you know he as uh, he's athletic. You know, hey, as yo. a left tackle, huh? And he's young. He's and he's young. young. And he played right guard last year when they was playing, you know, dominoes with the actual O-line. You feel what I'm saying? So for right now, it, it kind of seemed like um, Eric Spolster. You see how Eric Spolster be trying to figure things out? Oh, you feel what I'm saying? And they finally figured out. That's what it seemed like with the Dolphins, with the O-line. They try to figure it out. Who's going to be this? Who's going to be that? And they it seemed like they finally figured it out, even with the individuals that's that starters that's out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels good to, to um, you know, wake up Sunday and know we're probably going to win. Yeah. You know yeah. It feels good just watching this team. Yes. Play. It's mm -hmm. just a fun team to just watch, you know, because, I, I mean, I don't think I've had this much fun watching the Dolphins since the Wildcat. The Wildcat, when we was running the Wildcat, we're running Brown with um Sperano. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Um, that was the last time I was like, wow, this is actually a fun team to watch. Even the last time that we made the playoffs with um with Tannehill, well, he got hurt and it was Matt Moore. That wasn't really a fun team to watch. I don't even remember a lot of the players that was on that team. Me neither. You know, but but yeah, this is just a fun team to watch with with Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Kaseki, Moster. You know, in that defense, of course, too, at the helm, this is just a, a – it's a fun, exciting, new, modern Miami Dolphins that we watch. It, it seemed like we finally just stepped into the 2000s or the 2010s. You know, I felt like we were playing in the 90s for a long time, and now all of a sudden we have a high-flying offense, so it's great. Yeah, definitely. Um, the other thing, too, uh, um, you know, obviously I was trying to move this uh, podcast up because of a, of a commit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
prospect that might commit. So I do want to just kind of speak on that a little bit because okay. it seems like it's just the top three. Uh, but we were prepared just in case he does commit. I do believe he's going to commit. Jamari Brown out of American Heritage High School down here in South Florida Plantation. 